Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the October monthly reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please remember these are general readings, times fluid, energies can be reversed and cards can sometimes pick up energy of your loved ones and not directly yours. So please, keeping all of that in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you're watching my video for the first time, welcome on board. Thank you. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind enough to come back, please accept my heartfelt gratitude. Let's begin. Monology for the feeler. Your dreams need practical plan. This came out for another sign. I'm not too sure. I think it came out for Taurians. Yeah, I think it came out for bulls. Sagis, if you have, if you have Taurus in your chart some place yeah have a quick look that was a very powerful reading I remember commitment is a key hmm a personal issue reaches a resolution nice nice let's get into tarot and see how all of this integrates with the tarot you're gonna clarify the spread and then to wrap the reading we'll get a guidance message so for my sagis the current energy you are in healing healing from a heartache from a situation that was very exhaustive emotionally physically mentally psychologically spiritually you're healing from that crossing you is the nine of cups grounding you is the world in your recent past it's the ace of cups crowning you is the seven of swords Eight of Wands in the reverse in the near future. It seems like you're making a quiet exit. Justice in your internal. Knight of Pentacles as the external. Yeah, you're steadily moving without letting anybody know. You're just dropping the ball basically. Yeah. The Star in Hopes and Fears. Beautiful. And the Seven of Pentacles as the outcome that's wonderful look knight of pentacles seven of pentacles steady seeding the plants steadily underneath is judgment wow that's yeah this moved queen of wands nice that's fire right there I was wondering where's all the fire gone from Sagis because all we have is this eight of wands that two in the reverse. This does not really feel like a very fiery energy. This is very subtle, passive energy. Yeah, that's the word, passive. This feels very passive. Generally, Sagis are not like that, but yeah. Four of swords. None of the fire signs are like that. Four of Swords in the current energy, please. We have the Empress and the Seven of Wands. Yeah. You had to hold your ground for something. Or you are holding your ground for something. You are like, I'm going to choose my mental peace, my spiritual healing over everything. And you are doing it like a bad ass chick. You're like, nope. Finally, some fire. As I was saying, I can't see much fire. But yeah. It's still not so much in the face, you know. Generally, fire signs can be really intimidating. But you are like, just doing your thing. Whatever everybody is saying. You're like, sure. Like shaking your head and like, yeah sure nine of cups is what's crossing you 
quite interested in that. Let's see the clarify. Okay. There you go. We have the hangman, the ace of swords, and the nine of cups. Questioning this while you are healing. Your dreams need a practical plan. That's where it's taking me. This is what you are desiring, but there is no practicality attached to it. The Ace of Swords, not able to see clearly and not able to go within. This is all in the challenge position. That's what's crossing you. The Hangman, the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups. There's something that you want to achieve. Yes, you do. But have you done enough homework for it? Is the question. Or are you letting yourself, are you giving yourself that kind of time for you to heal so that you can finally plan? the world as the grounding wow something new starting something old look are you kidding me we have the wheel of fortune with the world cycles endings and beginnings of new cycles times changing times changing my dear saggies there is something coming to an end and you are about to start something new you're all set to be on a new adventure this could also be travel this could very well be travel yeah you're making a move there is a need for you to make a move which is probably because of this ace of cups something new that showed up in the recent past which made you think again about love I'm taken to this personal issue reaches a resolution. You are ending a cycle. So many cycles ending. I mean, it's uncanny how almost every sign that I have done the readings for is going through the shift. Ace of Cups in the recent past. Please clarify ace of cups we have the ten of swords yeah you dropped something you ended something and f from which you are healing still and probably this new beginning this new person entered your life this new opportunity entered your life it's this endings and beginnings as I was talking about right here ending of a painful cycle to begin a new that happened in the recent past and you realize that you need to heal yourself from that probably someone is pushing you to act before you are ready could be Communication is the key. Talk to each other if that's what's happening. Because I can see there's a quiet shift happening. Seven of swords with the eight of wands. You ain't saying anything. You're just doing it. Everybody is giving you all the advice that everyone has in their bag to give you. And you're like, sure. Yeah, you're right. We have the two of wands. We have the page of swords and the nine of wands. Yeah, see? You are quietly making that move. You are trying to not get unnecessary attention. The two of wands, you are at a crossroads. It's time to make a call. And you are, look, we had that seven of wands right there, right? Taking a stand. You are doing that still, no matter how tiring this is, nine of wands. No matter how tiring it is, you are holding the front. You are. Please clarify this eight of one. 
look ace of wands yeah you are going for it you are going for something you are just doing it quietly you're not making a loud thud which is very unlike fire signs fire signs like to make noise <laughs> when they are doing something they are just you know in general high on energy people very much confident full of enthusiasm so it doesn't really bother them to share their you know ideas and new things or whatever so it's as i said it's a very passive energy that i feel here it's very unlike fire signs you are making that move towards this new beginning yeah justice as the internal environment this is inner reflection look it's such a beautiful card this is inner reflection this is finding that striking that balance this is going within this is doing introspection that's the reason why you are all quiet you are like going within and doing this this is giving me a very hermit like feeling Please clarify the justice card in the internal environment. The high priestess, extremely, extremely spiritual card. As I said, this is all about getting connected to your intuition. High priestess is somebody who is extremely connected, connected from within with the higher source, with your higher self. And you are doing that. You are going within. You are seeking that, that reflection. You are going and doing this introspection. You are like, yeah, it's time to move. There is, this is something that is quite dear to your heart, it seems. It's something that you don't want to share with everyone. It's not really just an idea. It's life-changing for you. Knight of Pentacles in the external environment. We have the world. We have the world again. There is definitely something that you are wrapping up. Steadily, you're going steadfast. Even if every step taken takes time, you are taking your time. You are doing it quietly. That Seven of Swords energy. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy we all know when it comes to knights. Extremely steadfast, slow, not making too much of hue and cry about it. But you're wrapping it up. That's it. You are. You are moving. This could be a slow move. You are withdrawing yourself from a situation. This could be a physical move or just energetically withdrawing yourself from it. In your hopes and fears, we have the star. This is the star at the bottom. As I said, star, I saw this. This is seriously, your angels are really, really protecting you and guiding you at this point in time. Ten of wands. Yeah, your angels are really guiding you at this point in time to, or this is what you are hoping that that happens, you know, that your angels show you the way, show you the sign to help you drop this this personal issue seven of pentacles as the outcome whoa did you see how the strength just popped out with the nine of cups at the bottom wow this is seeding plans for that future dream that's going to get you that fulfillment, that wish fulfillment. Yeah. Fire. We were talking about all passive energy, right? You're finally going to stand in your power and roar like a lion. After you are done with all this quiet work. You know, when the seed is sprouting, it doesn't really make much noise, does it? But then one day you see a tiny little sapling coming out, right? A little sprout that turns into a sapling and then a big, big tree. That is where you are focused. You're like, I'm not going to waste any time 
listening, talking, whatever. The only ones that I need to talk to are the only ones that I'm doing this talking with. You know that people say, talk the talk, but there are very few who walk the walk. Right? So you're walking the walk right now. I'm taken to this communication is the key card that don't cut yourself off completely. Keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. Let's get you some guidance messages, Sagis. This is quite a reading. It's a, it's a, it's a really powerful transitional, transformational time going on for everybody. I'm taken again to this bulls card. Your dreams need practical plan. So yeah, I mean, Taurus had a powerful, powerful reading. So did Capricorn. And now yours. Wow. You have Dhumavati shedding old skin, I am told. Let's see what actually the message is. But this is telling me shedding old skin. Goddess of disappointment and letting go. I did not know there's a goddess for that. Okay. You, my darling, have finally realized that all of the hardships and struggles you faced were brought to your path for a very important reason. They have shaped you to be the person you are today. You have put together the dots in all the most difficult points in your journey and realized that it was all necessary to be here now. Wow, that's a strong message. Dhumavati has come to remind you to give thanks to the struggles you have faced. They have made you your highest self. The mantra here is Dhum Dhum Dhumvati Swaha Dhum Dhum Dhumvati Swaha Dhum Dhum Dhumvati Swaha And so be it. My Sagittarians, my Saji babies, I am sending you a lot of strength, a lot of power. It's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. Namaste from the land of gods.